Hello everybody. This is a little update to the business intelligence application. I've uh, done a little bit of work on this and I just wanted to show you the progress so that it could inspire you um, in the weeks ahead in creating your own app. So I still have four different rooms here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm still using the same uh, temperature data, uh, sorry, time and date data, such as this one here. I've taken the seconds off, um, in the format that is, uh, because strangely it seemed to, seemed to affect the order in which they were showing. Which I can't quite explain, but I'm using this format here in the custom field. And that is making the pivot table work a bit better. So... I have a dashboard that I'm building up here and what I've done is using VBA code I've made this smart little um, button selection thing here where I just go from one room and then back to the dashboard like that. That would be in case I wanted to get a snapshot of what was happening. Uh, I'm still working a bit on this uh, pivot table but this is uh, currently showing the, uh, that's not right at the moment, the humidity. But uh, with the click of a mouse, I can change it to uh, temperature like that. And that's not how you spell humidity, is it? Uh, but it's a bit pointless labeling this at the moment because obviously um, it's changing whenever I select a different type of data. So um, I shall just put in there um, XXXX. OK. I could also show the pressure if I wanted like that and then turn off the humidity. Pivot tables basically allow you to look at data but in such a way as you don't have to keep writing the formula. So for example here I've got a grand total and that's currently all of the pressure uh, measures added up, 49,000. In terms of environmental data, absolutely pointless. So really something that would be more useful here uh, in my pivot table is to change the value field settings and go for average. That will give me the average pressure over the period that we're looking at, which is, uh, if you round it up, is 999 uh, millibars. So that's useful. So this is one of the um, advantages of um, pivot tables. Um, so there's some good stuff happening here. Uh, I don't actually really need this second one, so I shall just remove that. As I said at the start of this video, this is a work in progress, but it's here to inspire you. Now, if I click this button here, interesting, Bristol weather forecast. Now, we could use this to uh, calculate the average temperature for the week ahead. And in business intelligence terms, that means that we could therefore do some calculations about the temperature in our rooms uh, over the measuring period that we have and perhaps make some predictions about the week ahead. Why would we do this? Because we might want to anticipate the costs of heating, or conversely, the costs of not having to heat. And also, uh, if it was the summertime, you might actually be thinking about the costs of air conditioning, or natural ventilation, or whatever it was. So having a weather forecast is really useful. And this is... Um, this is uh, basically brought in here on this thing called From Web, and this is a this is a power query, and I got this data from a website. So what you do is there you put a URL in there. I got this from a website which you can sign up to for a free trial, which should last you the length of this project. Let me just see if I can find it. Weather Data Services. Here we are. Visualcrossing.com. If you sign up for a free account and then put in the area where you want to find the data, the project scenario is Bristol, um, then you can go in there and it will basically uh, collate data for you and it will give you a link to paste into this URL here which then will create this query. I will finalize uh, that information for you if you struggle with it um, uh, sometime in the future when we work on this project. 
So that's basically what I wanted to show you. My business intelligence application is on the way and I hope that this inspires you to continue working on yours. Thanks for watching.